<laughs> Just wanted to see if I can do that. <laughs> I'm awesome. Well, hello, hello, my Android friends. Welcome to another episode of The Mandroid Show. I am David, your Android junkie at AndroidSpin.com, and yes, I took a week off. Sometimes you just gotta take a break and try to do another video segment, and it doesn't work quite like you want it to. It's okay, though, it's coming. It's a whole segment about the HTC One S. It will be coming to a theater near you. Anyways, guys, it's good to be back doing the Mandroid Show. I love doing the Mandroid Show, and I know you love me doing the Mandroid Show, so let's get on with the Mandroid Show, and I'm talking really, really fast. Anyways, let's, yeah, talk about some Android. All right, developers, big news today. Looks like the Jelly Bean source code for the Android open source project has been finally dropped. We are so much closer to that buttery goodness. Yes, developers can get their talented hands on the Jelly Bean source and start bringing some delicious ROMs to us. This is really good news, and a few days ago, the CyanogenMod Mod team assured us that CM10 will not take nearly as long as CM9 did. For God's sakes, that thing just, it's still not even fully out, but you know, those guys are way smarter than I am, I'm not criticizing. They still do awesome work, but they did assure us that, you know, Jelly Bean is not gonna be as hard. I guess there's just a couple minor tweaks they had to do in the code, you know, because it's not like a huge step up like Gingerbread ICS was. They just gotta make it nice and buttony smooth. And even those rock stars at AOKP had some nice words to say. Uh, Roman, the head developer, said that they're gonna take a little break after they just released Milestone 6, and then, you know, they're gonna get their hands on Jelly Bean, kinda start from the ground up and bring out some awesomeness. So yeah, if you want to hear what both teams had to say about Jelly Bean, check down the links below in the balls area, read their entries, and get excited. Alright, so just how much smoother and faster is Jelly Bean compared to ICS? Did I say Jelly Bean? Jelly Bean? No, 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 no. Well, how about we have some red cam footage that answers that question? Yes, there was a video release showing the comparison between ICS and Jelly Bean shot with a red camera in super slow motion. If you're not familiar with red cameras, this is what they use in big blockbuster films, you know, when you see those special effects shots where it's like super slow motion, but it's so smooth and fluid and just... <laughs> you know, like with a regular camera, like the one I'm using, you know, showing me jumping in the air looks like this. Anyways guys, if you haven't seen the video, check the full video down below in the balls area. It's pretty awesome. You can just see just how much smoother and faster it is. It will make you hate ice cream sandwich. Well, Alright guys, time to get your Boycott Apple t-shirts. Yes, our friends over at Cruiser Light have created a Boycott Apple t-shirt and they're selling them for the cheap price of $17.90 I believe. They're pretty cool shirts on the back. It says innovation, not litigation. Obviously poking fun at Apple to, hey, you know, Improve your own <laughs> Stop getting upset that there's better phones out there, you sons of bitches. And then I love how on the front they have a nice little quote from the late Steve Jobs saying, Good artists copy, great artists steal. <laughs> really? Yeah, you know, I know he's like, you know, dead and all, but that's just hypocrisy up the ass. Yeah, enjoy your notification drop down, you iPhoneies. So yeah, if you want to get a boycott Apple t-shirt, check down the links below, order yourself one. I think we all should wear them on one day and just, you know, revolt. Show Apple we mean business. Alright, tweak of the week this week is actually uh, numerous tweaks, and this is all I'm doing. I'm not going to do any apps or any games or anything like that. Basically, what we're going to do is tweak out your phone to make it as jelly bean as possible. Now, we already have the jelly bean wallpapers. And I think there's some live wallpapers too that are out there. But now we got some added apps and little tweaks for you. First, we got a jelly bean theme for your CM9 or AOKP ROM. Yeah, it just themes out your ROM a little bit, makes it a little closer to jelly bean, especially the uh, notification bar drop down, you know, really brings out the jelly bean colors. It is a dollar in the Play Store, but you know, if you, it's a nice little tweak. I actually got it. And it's, not bad, you know. Next, we got the Google Sound Search widget pulled from Jelly Bean. Yeah, like Shazam, it listens to whatever song is playing and it shows you the title and artist. Not only that, it actually brings you to the place where, where you can purchase the song. So yeah, this is a great little widget for those of you that still buy music. 
And speaking of music, they've also pulled Google Play from Jelly Bean as well. You know, one thing about stock Google Play is, you know, the UI is, you know, very much improved and the Jelly Bean one is not, it's just a little bit more improved. But one thing I always hated was the freaking widget, man. There's always that gray rectangle with just like the song and the artist and the play and the next button. And, you know, it's just kind of dull looking. Well, not anymore. With the Jelly Bean Google Play, the widget is nice and pretty. It's got the added album cover and like button. So it gets to know you like certain songs that you like better than other songs, so it'll probably play it more. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But yes, it's a big improvement from the old widget, so... So, you know me, I'm a freaking widget head and I absolutely love it. Jelly Bean Animations. Now this one's a little hit or miss. Somebody created a zip file where you could flash these animations over your ROM. I tried doing it on my CM9 ROM and it didn't take. And then I cried for days. And also cut myself. Wow, that's just disturbing. Sorry, I forget I said that. I think mainly if you have a Galaxy S phone, it works for those phones a lot better, like Galaxy S2s, maybe 3s. Because I know the video was showing it on a Galaxy S phone, so. Eh. So give it a shot, flash at your own risk. It might not work. Hopefully you don't fall into a boot loop. And speaking of booting, we got the Jelly Bean animation as well. Hey, you get that pretty little, pretty little sexy Nexus S that gets me excited every time I see it. Google Now? Uh -huh. Yes, Google Now is the feature that everybody really wants on their phones. It basically just blows Siri out of the apple juice. And it's just a nice little feature that was added to Jelly Bean. Unfortunately, the voice search does not work. Yeah, something about the API or something with Jelly Bean that can't work with ICS, I don't know. Developers might, you know, end up getting it working, but for right now it's not really working. But you can still type in whatever you want to search for in the search bar and it brings it up pretty quick. It's not really worth it, I don't think. But if you feel like flashing, go right ahead. The Jelly Bean lock screen. Yeah, this is kind of like the Jelly Bean lock screen. If you guys are familiar with uh, Go Launcher X, they also added a Go Locker to add a lock screen to go with the Go Launcher X. But now they have a Jelly Bean theme that looks pretty similar to the Jelly Bean lock screen. Damn, <laughs> you faker. Yeah, it works pretty well if you're rocking Go Launcher X, but if you have another launcher in there, it's kind of iffy. I tried to do it on mine, I'm rocking Apex, and it was like there, and then it wasn't there, and it wasn't. I'm like, all right, well, screw you. I hate you too. So yeah. Iffy on that, so, but if you want to give it a try, do it. You know, it's no harm in trying, right? It's free. Hey, can't go wrong with free. I like free. All right, so there you have it, you jelly beaners. That's all that you can do to tweak out your phone and make it more, or pretty much as close to jelly bean as possible. You know, actually the best way to make your phone as jelly, as close to jelly bean as possible, find somebody with a Galaxy Nexus and beat the sh out of them. Steal their phone and threaten them with death if they tell anybody. Perfect way, go ahead and do it. <laughs> I know that's what I'm gonna do. Just kidding, of course. <laughs> no. Anyways guys, check down links below in the balls here for all those little tweaks. Most of them are in the Play Store, some of them aren't. So just check down there, you know, you know the drill. But all right guys, that concludes Tuesday's show. I appreciate you clicking in as always. Make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel. Hit that like thumbs up button, show love with a like like I always say. Be sure to also check out our forums. We're like, re we redid the absolute crap out of them. We have new developers coming in, and we're, we have a good little forum going on. So if you're a developer, join our team. If you're not, you just want to browse, browse. We've got a lot of things going, and we're only getting better by the day. we got some pretty talented people in there, so yeah, that'll be down below too. Check our forums out. Pretty awesome stuff. Well, all right, guys, I am David, your Android Junkie, over at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been The Mandroid Show. The Mandroid Show, because it makes the world taste good. I don't know why I started saying that. It just sounded like the Candyman song from Willy Wonka. <laughs> I got problems, man. <laughs>